Hey everyone, um, I got an email from someone just asking how I put a video texture on um, an object in 3ds Max. Now I'm going to show you one way to do it, I'm sure there's other ways, but this is the way I know. It's pretty kind of lazy and it probably won't look that good in a lot of situations, but um, this is just how I did it and how I know how to do it right now. So, let me go ahead and make an object in the scene. Um, I'm going to just maximize that so I can see my desktop. Press M. Get your materials panel up. Delete that one. Uh, as you see on my desktop, I have a video here um, called Sample. Um, it's an AVI. As far as I can tell, 3ds Max only takes AVIs to be placed in a texture so it can actually um, animate on the object or play on the object, I should say. So, yeah, I would use an AVI. Um, only one I know of, but if anyone else knows one, feel free to correct me. I don't mind, just what I know. So I'm going to drag that into my materials. I'm going to just create a standard material. Link that to the diffuse color. Make this bigger again. Um, I'm just going to apply that to my object there. And if we see in the view window, the, yep, the material has been applied. Um, now, when you render that, it'll actually render the video out. Um, keep in mind that when you render this video, um, you probably want to render it at the same um, frames per second um, as the video that's applied as your texture. Otherwise, it'll be sped up or slowed down accordingly. So, the video that's on my texture is 24 frames per second video, I think. Um, and I think, oh, well, this one is going to be 24 frames per second as well. So, I'm just going to do a quick render so you can see what happens. Bear with me. That's good enough. Um, I save it. And just render it. I only rendered one frame. Excellent job, me. There we go. I'm going to render that again. <laughs> As an AVI, called the same thing, you know. I'll overwrite that. Uh, I'm just going to render each frame out, and you'll be able to see the movie slowly take shape. And according to my computer, I have about 1 minute and 40 seconds to kill. Um, I'm not sure I can really be bothered speeding this video up, so... You can listen to me plug the game I work on right now. I'm working in a game studio right now called The Binary Mill. And, uh... Yeah, we make games. You want to go over to the App Store, you want to look at Mini Motor Racing on Android and iOS, and you want to get Mini Motor Racing, because that keeps me in a job as the terrible programmer I actually am. So, you want to do that immediately. You read all the ratings and shit, people like it, people think it's fun. Um, I don't do any modeling or art or anything for that, but I do program stuff. So keep me in the job. Be a good sport. There's still another 40 seconds, which is kind of awkward. You can see anyway there's rendering out a video on that object anyway as the texture. All it pretty much does is take the AVI and just shove it into the diffuse texture and then kind of interpolates it over the frames. So not that hard to understand really. Uh, like I said, it does pay to match the... The uh, frame rate of the video to the output that you have, otherwise the video is going to look faster or slower. Um, so yeah, you don't want to do that. And like I said, AVI. So that's done. Let's have a look at it. Oh my god, a video texture. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, well, that's how I know to do it, anyways. Hope it kind of helps someone here. Um, I haven't really played around with that much, but that's the basics of it, so go nuts.